Uh, well, I'm Steve Guy Willie, and uh, this is the electrically heated steam engine. Um, it's exactly the same as a normal. Right, well, we know the uh, pressure gauge works, and I mean the, the pressure release valve works. So, anyway, as I was saying, this is the uh, electrically operated steam engine and it uses electricity which you plug into the mains for it to actually heat the water and uh, so you don't have to use coal or methylated spirits because um, it's a bit messy especially for a small child. So we have um, the water in the boiler which is heated up by the steam. This is the pressure. This is the pressure gauge which shows you how much steam is in the boiler and this is the water gauge which shows you how much water is in the boiler as well. We have a device here which actually switches off the electricity if the water level gets too low so it doesn't actually burn out the um, element. And this is the control box. So when we switch on these buttons we actually have the uh, current going into the boiler to actually um, make the steam engine work. Right, so there's enough of pressure in here now for the steam engine to actually work. This is the steam engine here. So if we switch it on Just give this bit to get rid of the water that's condensing into it. We now have the steam engine running. This is the regulator valve, so we can have it running as slow or as fast as you want. We can actually get it just at a slight tick over, which is quite nice. We also have a generator coming off the flywheel, which generates electricity, and we have a bulb here which will illuminate as it's generating. So as we speed up, we can see that the lamp will start to illuminate, and then as the speed increases, it will get brighter and brighter and brighter. slow down again and start to get it dim. Now, this is the steam pressure output knob. This is much like a cinder stack on the cooker. So when you have it at maximum, that's the maximum amount of current in time that goes into it to keep it boiling. And so if you slow it right down, just to tick over, The boiler is now not using very much steam and so uh, the pressure will actually begin to rise because we aren't using so much. And then on the potential to here, it's on maximum and so it's a maximum amount of current going in. So as we turn it down, it then... Uh, saves the electricity you use for it to actually work and also it will um, not get too high with the pressure to actually make the, the steam uh, safety valve go off. Yeah, so this is the plant and I'm sure that if um, I can make one of these then you can make one. So good. We just have a quick burst of speed and power and vibration and light. Good, we're now 
upside it down. So this is the electrically hot operated steam engine. And uh, this video actually accompanies an article in the Modern Engineer, which gives a fuller um, explanation of it. This is a circuit diagram of the coming electric that is inside this box. So that's it. So good, yeah.